Welcome back to the 1980s, guys. 80s are a fun time to farm, just because of the equipment. Commodity prices might not have been good, but it's gonna be fun. We got a bunch of cattle we have to purchase today, and me and Nate gotta make a bunch of hay. Nate's actually running down the paved road, and he's gonna go pick up some equipment over at the dealership, I think, is what he said. But before we do that, I have a International 706. That's a front wheel sys tractor that I have a neighbor that wanted to buy this tractor. And so we're actually gonna end up trading this tractor out for a another 706 and also get some cash on the trade we just don't need a front wheel assist tractor we, we have so many bigger tractors we just we just don't need a front wheel assist and we'll fire up the d21 oh yeah there we go we'll shift her up i'm just gonna park her kind of over here for now we'll leave her running and also if you guys are enjoying the 80s farming series first of all i love our farm layout so i think this is gonna be pretty fun but let me know by smashing that like button or leaving a comment or anything there we go we'll get the 706 out and also if you guys like american agriculture definitely check out american farming which is my mobile game we launched in November. And heck, if you like international red tractors, we got a bunch of them on there. Um, but the whole game's based out of the Midwest, which is my favorite place to farm, just because I grew up and live in Iowa. So anyways, definitely check it out. It's on the App Store and Google Play Store. Okay, we'll get the ramps full down on the trailer, and then I'm just gonna throw the 706 up on there. We're not gonna drive it over. We'll just, uh, we'll haul it with the truck. Okay, we'll see if this can climb up there. I shouldn't have to put her in uh, front wheel assist or four wheel drive, but yeah, there we go. Perfect. And I'm thinking right about there. That way we don't squat out the truck too much. Well, let's roll. We got about a 20 mile drive um, over to the guy who's gonna purchase this tractor. Might as well turn on the radio, I guess. Back to 97.3, the Goldie. We got a commodity report out today with beans up 17 cents. Beans are up? five huh. cents. Up to 250, that's, that's decent, right? Anyways, we got your love by the outfield. So they're on a vacation far away. Come around and talk it over. So many things that I wanna say. You know I like my girls a little bit older. I just wanna use your love tonight. And there's the dealership. Actually, me and Nate are looking for a baler. We may be interested in that one over at the dealer. And there's the big old ethanol plant. Poet. Okay, this should be the place. It's got a uh, big hog farmer. Bob's the guy's name. And I don't know if you guys know, in the audio on the radio, that's actually Buck singing. Every song we do, it's always Buck. Buck's awesome at karaoke, dude. So props to Buck for that, man. Okay, we'll get the 706 off for Bob, and then I gotta figure out where he wants it. He probably wants it just in the shed there, I'm guessing. And we'll get paid from him. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate it, man. Keep the change, you filthy animal. I think I see it. I think I see it. So we bought another tractor to replace that one it got shipped out from ohio and i just told them instead of taking it straight to the farm just take it to my local dealer i'll pick it up at the local dealer this is going to work out good and it only cost us fifteen thousand dollars so i still got to pay the guy but we basically made 5k by just trading off these tractors it's a 706 with about the same amount of hours as we sold for it's not front wheel sis keep in mind that was a rare tractor we just sold it's two wheel drive and it's got a loader on it so we're going to use this as a loader tractor because right now we don't have a, a main loader tractor and so for when we're doing hay and stuff this tractor is going to work great and some of you guys may not like this i love it but it's got front fenders on it some of you guys are going to say this is ugly but i like front fenders on tractors especially two wheel drive i don't know why maybe it's just too pretty i guess so i just paid the guy 15k and so we basically just bought this tractor now check this out also um oh there's nate too which he came on perfect time because i needed him here hey nate what are you doing here? Uh, you doing some trucking? Yeah, I have okay. some customers that wanted me to drop this off at the dealership. They just trade this in. Okay, okay, check this out, check this out. They just got a round biller, used round biller in. Um, it's like an 89. It's it's used, but it's really new. Um, like they're only going to start really selling these in the 90s, I think in the future here. It's a John Deere round baler. It's barely used, man. This is like a demo, like a test unit that John Deere themselves was using, is what the guy told me. So... Would you want to buy a round baler? I mean, if we're going big time into cattle farming, a round baler would be pretty darn handy. Are we going to have something to pick up the bells with? Yep. Just bought a tractor, 706, with a loader. Of course you did. Uh, how much are they wanting for it? 10 grand. That'd I take mean, us down to $62,000, man. I say we do it. I say you do it and do it with a caveat of trading in our old baler. The, the, Try to bring them down a little bit more. Well, I think we can keep that old baler because we can make some small squares too. Hey, if they give you a price and we'll let you only have it for 
Five grand, I'd take that deal. Okay, just got done talking to John Deere Finance. We paid list price because they had tons of people coming after it. We paid 10 grand for this baler. We're gonna keep our small square baler, but uh, this one is gonna be coming home with us. Don't tell Nate. Okay, we're gonna get the 706 loaded up, and then I got an idea. I look. Oh. How'd that work out for you? Hey, shh, we're working on it. Okay, we're gonna get the 706 loaded up, and then I got an idea to pull the baler home because this trailer is awesome. Perfect, park the 706. What are you gonna do about the forks and the attachments? We'll find some, we'll find some to buy. Hey, since you're here, I got a question. Yep. You've seen that mower I brought in, right? Yes. Since you're spending all the money on the baler on that, can we get that as well? Because they're wanting eight grand for it. I say let's do it. I think we do too, because it will get us from those little mowers. Yeah, I say let's do it. I mean, we're going to have a lot of cattle. Might as well. Do you want to pay for it and I'll just load it back up on the trailer? Yep, that works. We're going to try and get the baler pulled behind this trailer, because I've got a hitch on the rear of this trailer, which this is why I love this trailer. It's a triple axle, can haul anything, and it's got a hitch on the rear to haul some implements. Whoa, whoa, pull forward. All right, stop. Tell me when. Come on back. Straighten yourself out. Straighten yourself out. You're oh, missing shoot. by a long shot. Okay, okay. I got to get over it more. Okay. Okay, so Nate's got her hooked up, hooked up back here. This works super good. Just got that, and then just tie the PTO shaft up, and then let the hydraulic lines just completely drag on the ground. Perfect. Now, this is a lot of weight behind the truck, so it's a little slow going. And we made her home. I love this driveway to our farm. It's just like a, a nice incline and just wraps up to the farm. It's a beautiful farm, too. I love the way we built it. Okay, I got the baler detached, jacked down, so we should be good. I'll pull the truck forward, and then we'll get the ramps down. And I'm not sure what tractor we're going to run on the baler. We'll figure that out later. For now, we'll just attach the baler to the 706. Like I said, I'm not sure if this can run or not. We'll see. I'd rather have this as a loader tractor, not on the baler. And perfect. We'll just park her there for now. So we got some grass out here, and this is our main hay field that is actually ready to start cutting. So I think with Nate's new mower, probably going to get cut in this. I'm not sure what tractor we're going to put the mower on, but uh, that's the plan. And then after we get just a little bit of hay bales made, I'm thinking that we start buying some cattle. And we get cattle in here once we got some feed. Although we do have some hay bales over there that we could throw to the cattle. And then if we look at our fields, the corn's not coming up yet, but it is completely planted. Um, we do need some fertilizer out here, so we may throw some liquid nitrogen um, on this field also. And speak of the devil, there's Nate. And what is that on the back? No way. Please tell me that's for us, not for a random customer. Oh, you know it's for us. Oh my gosh. What's the story behind this one? It was at the store, I liked it, and I bought it. You got an addiction, man. I like it. So, you guys are going to say stuff about this best way sprayer. It's definitely newer than the 80s, but we do not have any good, like, pull type sprayer. So, we have to use it. So, just give me a pass on this one, guys. Please. Pretty please. Thank you. Okay, Nate. Just take her easy, man. Nate, 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 Nate. That's all you got to do. Just pull her off. I think we will use the 4755 uh, as our sprayer tractor. So we're going to disconnect it from the 12 row planter. I'm actually going to put the 12 row planter in the shed here. And this is going to run the sprayer. It'd be nice to have some front weights for this tractor, but we can't find any close by. So we'll just have to do it without for now. And since we're done with the planter, I'm going to throw her in the uh, open cold storage. And should be good. It does look like Nate's already starting to cut hay here. How good of a cut is it doing? Is it cutting it properly or is it just laying it down almost? Oh no, it's cutting good, Nate. Keep her moving, man. Keep her moving. Oh yeah, that's cutting perfect. Look at Nate go, man. Oh, Nate, Nate, drop her down, man. <laughs> Listen, I forgot to put it down, okay? This is fun just watching them. Struggling in a moment. Give me a second. Screw. Come on, you old tracker. I'll get the 47 hooked up. I don't, we don't have any liquid nitrogen on hand, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to start spraying today unless we can find some. So for now, I'm just going to back her in the shed. But check out this sprayer, guys. I mean, this is going to work great for us. Oh yeah, we'll be able to cover a lot of acres with this thing. So while Nate is cutting over there, I'm going to go buy some cattle. We're going to take the old Kenworth and the cattle hauler. Nate uses this for custom hauling and stuff. We don't haul our own cattle much, but we're going to go buy some cattle and start filling this yard here. We'll get her fired up. Oh yeah. There we go. Nate's on his second headland lap, it looks like. Oh, don't put the semi in the ditch. Don't you dare put that in the ditch. We're good. We're good. You better drive that thing the most careful you've ever drove anything. Sorry, I can't hear you. Green light, can't get any greener. Let's roll. We'll go 16th gear, drop her into 17th. There we go, we are trucking. Now we should be coming up on the animal dealer. I think it's over kind of by the uh, fairgrounds over there. Hit the Jake brake. Trying not to be too loud rolling into town. Oh yeah, right over here. We'll back her up, keep going. 
should be good. Okay, we bought the cattle for 12 grand and we got them all loaded up and uh, heading back. Looks like Nate got her all done. I think he's done. Looks super nice though too. Just gotta rake her up and uh, probably start bailing her. Yeah, it looks like Nate's starting to get the rakes all hooked up and stuff over there. So I gotta figure out, get these cattle unloaded and get them fed probably. So we'll get them unloaded here. I'll just back up to the gate and we'll get some feed in these guys. These guys are going to be hungry. It looks like we got a pretty darn good group, though. Okay, so check this out, guys. I think Breeze Board. Stop here to open windows. Go over here, open gate, and it opens this window right here. And it opened all these because it hit our wagon over here. Other than that, works good. Perfect. And it gives these cows a breeze. I'm going to throw them a couple bales just to get us by until we get some big round bales made. Okay, so we're going to try this, guys. I've never used this bale trailer, but I've got the old Model A, which still runs. And I'm going to unload the bales, and I'm afraid it's going to unload them all it's gonna make a mess but we're gonna see what happens some of them sold off i think oh shoot oh shoot it's taking them there we go it took some of them so we got some bales in here i'm just throwing the rest in here i think we're gonna probably be full on like hay and grass but this is working good okay so these guys got enough hay for now which works good hay's 80 percent effectiveness tmr is 100 percent so we could up with tmr but tmr is it takes a lot to make tmr so for right now hay is working super good eventually we need some straw for these guys too so we're just gonna keep making hay bales with nate over here and i probably we need to be run the rake so i currently got the 40 20 and we're gonna run this on the rake most likely got her in seventh gear we'll put her in reverse get hooked up to the rake okay so this is working good nate got it all tedded out and i'm just gonna rake her up seven foot at a time because this rake is pretty darn small hey grant did you not grab the extension Ooh. I think I know what Nate's talking about. There's an extension right here that will work good so we can rake two at a time. Okay, we're gonna get this thing hooked up. Okay, so change of plans, guys. We're gonna get these rakes hooked up, two of them, and we're gonna put it on the D21. Nate's gonna get it set up. Oh yeah, that'll work great. All right, there you go, Grant. Nate's the man when it comes to haying and getting everything set up. He knows what to do. So we're gonna run these uh, these two rakes here. This should be pretty cool. There we go. This is pretty awesome, guys. Works pretty good. Like on turn, sometimes I gotta adjust the rake a little bit so we don't miss any. Uh, but then once I get going straight, I like straighten it out wide and it works, uh, works pretty darn good. Crazy nights, I figure I should probably give it a try. Maybe check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met. Okay, we got most of it raked. This stuff is just a little too wet yet, so we're gonna let it dry out a little more and then rake this stuff. But for some reason, Nate cut that section later than this section. It's just a tad too wet. Nate said to hold off, but we got everything else pretty much raked. And uh, now we just gotta start moving bales. We got like five or six bales off this, honestly, which isn't terrible. And Nate did put on the 4755 on the baler. This seems like it ran a lot better. That other tractor, dude, it had like no power at all. I would press the gas, I'd go maybe one mile an hour for five minutes, then it'd go two. This right here is actually a lot better and more powerful. I think this should be the baling tractor from now on. But yeah, farm's looking good, guys. Farm is coming together, and we got hay, which I enjoy making hay in farm sim. Super fun. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the 80 series. Definitely check out Nate's channel down below. I'll have a link to it and we will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching boys